Hi, my name is Julia Silge and I'm a data scientist and software engineer at our studio. And today, in this week's screencast, we're going to use um, this week's Tidy Tuesday data set that's all about CEO departures. And some of the time when a CEO leaves their company, it's um, voluntary or they're sick or they've died. And some of the time when they leave their company, it is involuntary, meaning they were fired or removed for some other purpose like that. And today what we're going to walk through is we're going to show how to use um, tidy models and bootstrap resampling and a generalized linear model to estimate um, how the proportion of um, uh, of departures that are involuntary is changing over time. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started and explore this week's Tidy Tuesday about CEOs leaving their jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to download, um, there's a couple of, there's two data sets in this week's Tidy Tuesday data set about CEOs um, leaving their jobs. Um, one of them is this one about um, uh, departures. It has things like um, an ID, the name of the company, the fiscal year in which something happened and then um, names and then this departure code and uh, other kind of information, some notes and whatnot. And then the other data set is about what these codes mean um, because one, like one is like they died, one is, um, uh, like they can't, you can't find in for any information. One is they left to spend time with their family, <laughs> you know, whatever that means when people say that. Um, so it, uh, three and four in that, um, list were P um, CEOs who left involuntarily. So what I'd like to do in this screencast is to look at those, um, look at CEOs who left, uh, under those circumstances and understand how that is changing over time. So um, let's look at these departure codes. So there are a bunch, I, I did a little bit of exploration of this. Um, so if we count like departure code here, there are a whole bunch of that are NA. So these are departure codes. Uh, nine means um, it's missing, meaning um, they don't think that that person actually did leave their company. And um, these three and four, these are the ones who left involuntarily. I went through and I looked at the NA ones. And I think, so if you do filter is NA departure code. Like, let's, let's look at this. So this is, I don't know, let's just like scroll down and see what we see here. So these are, I mean, look, there's Jeff Bezos. He is still the CEO of Amazon. And Timothy Cook is still the CEO of Apple. So those are people who are still in that position. So we, so we don't want the NAs. So we don't want the NAs and we don't want the nines. So what we can do is we can say to filter, filter, ugh, filter, departure code less than nine. So I'm pretty sure this will give all the people who actually have departed during this data set. And let's, um, and then let's make a, um, let's make a, new variable called involuntary and we can use if else and so if the departure code is um in um three or four let's call it involuntary and if it's not let's call it other so if not they you know got a new job or died or left to spend more time with their family so let's look at how this changed by that fiscal year 
Um, oh, there's just like one in 1987. We're gonna have to do some filtering on year as well. But let's let's see where we should do that filtering. So um, let's do F year, fiscal year, and let's do color involuntary like so. Let's put a line, um, kind of like a transparentish line. Okay, good. Let's put the points on. That can be nice sometimes. And let us filter, because it looks like we've got these edge effects where not everything was counted in all the years. So let's go back up to the filter. And I think we can just do it in here. So let's filter after, what do you think? Let's try 1995 and filter before, is it 2020? No, let's try the one more year, 2019. Okay, so it looks like this is pretty good in terms of these are the years where we have pretty good coverage. Let's scale that Y axis so we've got zero on it. Scale, Y, continuous. There's another way to do this. That This is a little bit of a long way to do that actually, but there we go. So now we've got zero on there. So what what is this? So let's do labs. So X equals null. We don't need to put the year there. So this is number of CEO departures. And we have got two kinds. We've got involuntary departures and other kinds of departures. And oh, I, I always have to look up via Google how to get the, see how these colors are uh, switched from these colors in order. I always have to look it up how to switch those back. I'm not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna, you'll have to just look at them <laughs> switch. Sorry about that. Okay, so this, so let's uh, let's throw one more thing on there. Let's throw on there a, um, a Geom Smooth. Let's, let's make it uh, straight and let's make it dashed like that. Okay, so it looks like the number of CEO departures due to involuntary reasons is kind of flat and the number of, of other departures is kind of decreasing. So um, that means that as a proportion of um, CEO departures, more people are um, leaving involuntarily. More people are being booted out over time. That's what it looks like um, from this exploratory uh, visualization. But what I would like to do is I would like to build a model to measure if we have statistical evidence if this is true, how strong is the evidence, and so forth. So let us let us try to do that. So let's let me make a data set that I'm going to use to do that with. Let's call it departures. So I'm going to take departures raw, and I am going to um, take just that bit there. So there, this is my data set that I'm going to use. Departures. So I've done that filtering. And so what I have here is, you know, almost 7,000 departures. And I'm gonna start um, building a model. So first I'm just gonna build it one time. And then I'm gonna show how to build that model, how to bootstrap that model so I can use um, bootstrapping to estimate um, confidence intervals. Okay, so what I wanna do here is I am going to take that, those departures, I am going to count um, uh, the fiscal year in voluntary. So that gives me this. And then I'm gonna pivot um, wider. The names are from involuntary, voluntary. Then the values are from N, like that. So this is the data frame I'm gonna use for modeling. And the kind of model that I am gonna use is a general, generalized linear model. So I'm gonna use, um, let's, let me scroll down and show you the part that I'm gonna use, the kind I'm gonna use. I like this kind of model. So I'm gonna use, um, I am going to use a binomial. The family is going to be binomial for the the um, the link, and what I'm going to do is the um, the response 
I am going to specify as a two column matrix with the columns giving the numbers of successes and failures. So successes, so it's like a binomial distribution, right? Which we learn about in stats class. And so the, the successes here are going to be the, um, the, the involuntary departures and the failures are going to be the other departures. So it's like, um, and what I'm going to say is, can I, can I explain the, this, this proportion by year? So the, it, does it change with year? So this is going to be the predictor. And then this is going to be the, um, the response. The response is going to be this, um, the number of successes and the number of failures um, specified in this two column matrix. So let me do that here. So I'm going to, um, let's call it just mod for model. So we're going to do GLM. And what goes on this side is like, this is like the Y side. So I do C bind involuntary because these are the successes, the, the uh, things of interest I'm interested in other. So successes, failures, and then F year like this, this is the thing, the predictor. And then I can say like data equals DF family equals binomial, like that. And so then I can summary that mod. Um, if I go up here, like I'll do like library broom, and then I can, uh, I can tidy, I can tidy the model as well. So let's run all this. Um, okay, so let me look. So you can see in the summary here, so it's saying, what it's saying here is like, yep, we have this effect here. So this, this um, estimate is on the logistic scale. Um, so I can get it out on the, back on the linear scale by saying exponentiate equals true. And now what I'm looking at here is um, on, the, um, on the linear scale. And so what does this mean? This means every year that passes a, um, a departure is like 2% more likely to be, um, uh, to be in, involuntary. But this is just with this um, data one time. What I want to do is I want to show how to use um, tidy models and tidy data principles to be able to boots, to use bootstrapping to see um, uh, how, how, um, <clears throat> how robust is this result um, and how, how certain are we of it? Because we're, you know, we're, this, these, these are not that many, right? And so let's make some bootstrap resamples to test this out with. So I'm going to load the R sample package and I am going to set a seed and I am going to, um, let's call it CEO folds boot. Oh, I never loaded it. There we go. Boot straps. I'm going to put in those departures. Departures. And I need a ton of these. I don't need 25. I need like a thousand. I'm going to do bootstrap resampling here um, for this. So I am making a whole bunch of folds of my um, of my departures data. So here I've got you know a thousand folds, and in e this is a split, which tells me where to get the observations for this resample. So it tells me where to get their observations from this resample, and so forth and so on. So now I've got I've got my sets of resamples. And so now what I want to do is I want to make a function to apply my my model to a split. So let's call it fit um, fit binome and it's going to apply it to a split. So what I what I'm going to do here is I'm going to what am I going to do? I'm going to take this and just paste it in. I don't need the summary anymore. And I am going to instead of so what I start with is I start with an, the analysis um, the analysis set of a split. So, um, that's, that's, you know, this section of that split. The, so the like bootstrap resample part of the split here and all the rest of this is the same. I'm, I'm abusing, 
um, some some uh, <clears throat> scoping rules here a little bit by not you know saying like broom tidy like if I was putting this in a in a package I would do a little bit of a more careful job about how I was dealing with this function but for just in this script I say just let's just keep going I say <laughs> here we go we just keep going um, so this will work here um, I'm not abusing this uh, scoping rules too badly. It's, um, it's, it's pretty good. It's not so bad. Okay. And so now what I can do is I can take those CEO folds and I will, I can use mutate and I'm going to make some coefficient, let's call it coefficient info. And I will map across my splits with my, f my function like that. And let's save this. Um, let's call this boot models like so. And so let's get that started. So, uh, so now a thousand times what is going to happen is um, I'm going to go to my data set, my original data set. I'm going to count by fiscal year and uh, voluntary versus involuntary. I'm going to pivot wider. I'm going to fit to that um, new little data frame that I made. Um, I'm going to fit a generalized linear model with a, a binomial um, link here, and then I'm going to tidy it, and then um, it's going to get saved here in a new um, uh, variable there called coefficient info. So let me show you what that looks like here. So all that coefficient info is in little tibbles over here. So I've got tidy. I didn't save the models because I don't need them later. I just saved the coefficient info there. So that's um, bootstrapping the models. So now let's um, let's explore what we can do here. So there is a function in our sample called um, int percentile. There's actually a couple of different um, functions for computing bootstrap confidence intervals. So um, the there's percentile intervals, um, different kinds of corrections and all this kind of thing. I, I don't know. Um, I'm going to use the percentile um, standard percentile um, confidence intervals here. So what the way that this works is, you know what, I'm just going to call it intervals. And so I'm going to call int percentile and I'm going to send it the data. So that's boot models. And then I'm going to say which, um, which variable has the statistics in them, which is this coefficient info like that. So if I uh, run that, what it's doing now is it's computing, um, it is computing uh, bootstrap confidence intervals for me. So now here is this is this value. So um, it looks like oh we're just barely this is this is a small effect, right? So with every year, every fiscal year that passes, um, a a um, CEO departure has a you know one to two to three percent. It increases in the likelihood by one to two, three percent that it is an involuntary um, departure. So every year that passes has that increase in likelihood um, for um, for involuntary departures. So that is the the bootstrap confidence intervals, and then we can just make like a little bit of a of a um, visualization to finish up. So. Uh, that is, I can unnest those to get them out. So unnest coefficient info like that. And it's got the intercept and the F, the fiscal year. So I only need, I'm only interested in the fiscal year. And then I just make a histogram. Um, estimate. I just make a plain old histogram here. And what this histogram tells me is um, the distribution from all my bootstrap resampling of this um, this uh, this coefficient that I got from my generalized linear model. Which what that tells me is um, is the this uh, increase in involuntary CEO departures. So I guess uh, might let's see. May, let me make this a color. And then let me put a line, so a vertical line, vertical line, so x intercept equals 1. Let's make it dashed, and let's make it gray. 
And so, oh, not color, fill. Okay, so what this line is here, that's the line of no change. So that is um, at one, you know, like that's uh, even odds. Um, that's the line that it's, it is not different, um, that the, the proportion of um, involuntary departures is not changing. And then what we have over here is the distribution of all the bootstrap resamples. And so, um, and since we used exponentiate equals true, our coefficients are on, are not on the logistic scale, they're on the linear scale. And um, they're, they're not very big, right? So we don't have a huge, enormous um, increase with time, but we have with every year, we have what, like a one and a half percent a one and a half percent? Yes, that's right. One and a half percent more likely that a departure is going to be involuntary with every year that passes. All right, so we did it. We used bootstrap resampling to, um, you know, to make lots of simulated versions of our data set and then to, um, to uh, fit a model to all those different versions of our data set and understand and use that to robustly estimate um, how our involuntary uh, CEO departures as a proportion of the departures overall, how is that changing over time? And we found that, um, you know, there's this very small um, increase in the likelihood of a departure being involuntary. Um, there's this very small increase in likelihood um, as, as each year passes. Um, we were able to use functions for visualization, functions for estimating the, for, for computing the bootstrap um, intervals. Uh, and I think I, this kind of approach I find really useful and it's also very flexible because as you saw, we can make a function a bit, you know, we can put many, many different kinds of um, models inside of that function, whatever is appropriate to your use case. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.